Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for a NXT review. I haven't reviewed NXT in a long ass time there. Don't know if you guys want me to review this. It's it's one hour. It's not, uh, you know, if you guys want me to review NXT, let me know there. In the first match, and I haven't watched NXT in a long time, the weekly shows, I watch all the specials. Specials are really good, but... In the first match, Austin Aries defeated Angelo Dawkins. Um, this match was pretty good there. Aries with this big elbow to the face finisher there. The match was pretty good. This Dawson guy is pretty tall. You know, McMahon might put muscle on this guy. Maybe he might become a future black world champion for McMahon. Or the first ever WWE black champ. Or he might become a complete jobber there. I don't know at this point, but he has the size that McMahon likes, so might do something with him, possibly. Second match, Alexa Bliss defeated Tessa Blanchard. This match was okay, I guess, nothing special, but that Alexa Bliss is fucking hot. Holy fuck. Super hot fuck. She should go on the main roster with them little shorts there. Holy shit! That ass! Um, there was a Finn Balor, like, minute-long interview kind of thing. I think he said he, he was going to defend the belt against Nakamura, and that would be a fucking good match. Hopefully that's going to happen down the road. Finn Balor and Nakamura, I'd lo love to see that shit. Third match, Tommaso Ciampa and Johnny Gargano defeated the VOD villains. This was, it was okay, nothing exciting there. Um, the VOD villains are like heels now, which isn't as entertaining. I think they waited too long to bring them to the main roster because by now we've all seen their 1940s gimmick you know what I'm saying so there's nothing really special about these guys anymore there but that's why they debuted on Smackdown instead of Raw probably but this match was okay but not that good they're not exciting Fourth match, Baron Corbin defeated Tucker Knight. And this was just a basic two-minute Baron Corbin squash match. You know, I've seen a thousand of these squash matches. Let's see what he can do on the main roster against a bunch of, you know, good wrestlers. Just squashing jobbers. It's getting a bit old there with Baron Corbin. So, a two-minute match, it's not really that impressive there. Fifth match, Bailey defeated Liv Morgan, some little hip-hop wannabe chick there, but she's hot as fuck, this, this girl. Um, the match was, it was decent, I guess, nothing exciting, but decent. And uh, Bailey should really go to the main roster. Um, there was guys on Facebook, grown men in their 30s, buying Bailey t-shirts, the hug shirts. They're the purple one. Male fucking fans were actually buying this shit. The crowd cheers for her throughout the entire freaking matches. She has a bunch of fans dressed up like her in the audience. Why the fuck isn't she on the main roster? You know, she should be there. She's better than most of the women on Raw. You know what I'm saying? What's the holdup? I don't get it. She should be on Raw. She should have debuted last week with the other guys. Um, and in the main event... 
Nakamura defeated Todd Dillinger. Um, Dillinger was doing some funny shit in the match or whatever there, and Dillinger was beating him up most of the match. At least Nakamura didn't just squash him. He let Dillinger look good a little bit, and then at the end, he just whooped his ass there, four or five kicks in the face, and good night, Ty, go, go to sleep there. But, um, you know, this was a pretty good match. I enjoyed it. We had a good match of Nakamura, a good match of Austin Aries, three, four decent matches. So I think the show was good enough. It was enjoyable. And um, I'm going to probably watch it next week. Let me know if you guys want me to do more NXT reviews there. So let me know, motherfucker. It's up to you there. We'll see what happens. Uh, once I watch it a couple more months, I can get more into the swing of it there so let me know if you want fucking vids of nxt i'll probably get 12 views for it but whatever fuck it's about wrestling it's about having fun on there fuck the views fuck it let me know if you want more of this until next time peace